So now rolling updates. Um, <clears throat> we mentioned uh, rolling updates already, and now I want to show exactly what happens when we do a rolling update. Um, earlier I explained it. Oh, it's a little bit like when uh, you know when a, a DJ does a kind of crossfade, like you lower the volume on on one thing and you increase it on the other. So it's exactly the the, the thing that happens uh, when we do a rolling update with Kubernetes. When we do a rolling update. Uh, we do that by updating a deployment. When we update a deployment, that deployment will now have multiple replica sets below it. At this point, what we have is straightforward. I have like the deployment with one replica set and there is one or multiple pods. When I, when I update the deployment, uh, the deployment will create a new replica set corresponding to the new version and it's going to slowly scale up the new version and scale down the old version. And we have a couple of parameters to uh, determine how uh, this scale up and scale down is going to happen. These two parameters are max unavailable and max surge. The parameters are used to indicate how fast we want that to happen. Like, do we want to do one container at a time or a few containers at a time? And also, if we want to First, shut down old versions before we start the new ones, or the other way around. Uh, so max and available, as, as you can guess from the name, it means how many pods uh, can be unavailable during the rolling update. So that means how many pods should I terminate before starting new ones. So for instance, if max and available is one, it means that when I start my update, I'm going to immediately shut down one pod. If max unavailable is zero, that means don't terminate a pod um, before a new one has been started. So it means start the new versions first, and as soon as I have a new pod up and running, then I can shut down an old one. Conversely, max surge indicates how many pods can I create uh, on top of my uh, baseline. Uh, so same thing, <clears throat> I can put like max surge a few pods, or I could put max surge zero, which means you must shut down uh, old pods before starting new ones. Um, if you set max unavailable and max surge to zero, then you can't have a rolling update because that means you can't shut down old pods and you can't start new pods, so it's just going to be stuck forever. These, um, these parameters can be set in absolute values, like five pods, or they can be set as a percentage, and in that case, it's a percentage of the total number of, uh, I, mean, I mean, of the, sorry, of the um, number of replicas uh, for the deployment. Um, by default, with recent versions of Kubernetes, that's 25% for both parameters. So that means that if you have 100 pods and you do running update, immediately it's going to terminate 25 pods create 25 new pods, and as the 25 old pods are being terminated, it's going to create even more pods. So basically, at any given point, we are uh, updating max unavailable plus max surge pods. Um, another interesting scenario is to set uh, max unavailable to zero and max surge to 100%. When you do that, when you do the rolling update, it's going to immediately start all the new pods. So if you set like 20 replicas, it will immediately start 20 pods. And as these pods come up, all the ones will be terminated. So it's, uh, it's kind of the, the most aggressive way to, to do an update. And if, if you have a comfortable infrastructure budget, but you want to deploy really fast, it's awesome because when you deploy something, it goes really, really fast. The downside is that you need uh, a lot of resources for that to happen because you, you, you will end up having up to twice the number of pods running at any given time. Okay. So, um, what I'm going to do is that I will do a rolling update and, uh, I'm going to show what happens during that rolling update. And I'm going to, so I'm going to explain what will happen. And then when I will push the button, we will see this, these things happen. Uh, the slightly annoying things in that it's, it goes pretty fast. So that's why I prefer to explain everything before so that you can kind of 
figure out what's going on. Otherwise, it's like boom, 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 and it's over. Um, so what's going to happen? I'm going to split my screen a little bit. So I want deployments here. Replica sets there. Uh, and then here I want uh, pods. Okay. So what I will do is that I will update uh, the walker. I will deploy a new version of the walker. Let's explain what all these columns here mean. So ready indicates how many pods are ready. Uh, ready corresponds to health checks and, and readiness probes. In that case, since we have not defined any health check or any readiness probe, uh, the, the criteria for a pod to be healthy and ready to serve traffic is, is it running? It's a pretty low bar, but that's, that's the default if we don't define health checks. So as soon as the pod will be up and running, it will be counted as ready. Up to date means how many pods are running the right version, what I'm going to call the, the target version, the destination version, like the, the version I want to, to run. At this point, my 10 pods are running the right version, so that's 10. Available indicates how many pods are available, so it's almost the same as uh, readiness. Um, now if I go to the replica sets, uh, I have some pretty similar uh, counters. I have desired and current. So desired is how many replicas should we have according to the spec, and current is how many do we really have. And ready is how many of these pods uh, are currently ready. So what will happen is that when I update the deployment worker to, to roll out the new image, suddenly up to date will go to zero because suddenly I will have zero pod running the, the new version. Um, so at this point, the, the controller for deployment will be like, okay, you want to run a new version, so I will create a new replica set. So we will see here a new replica set appear for Walker, and that replica set will start with a desired of 25% of 10, so that's 2.5, and I never remember if it runs up and down, so desired will be 2 or 3. Uh, and then it will start creating pods, and as it creates pods, current uh, will uh, ramp up quickly to reach 2 or 3 as well, so to match the desired count. So at the same time as this new replica set is created, the old replica set, this one, is going to be scaled down. So desired is going to go to seven or eight, and current will trail behind a little bit, and pods in the lower right corner are going to be terminated. As pods are terminated, it makes space for new pods to be created, so the new replica set desired will increase as well. Here, uh, in the on the deployment side, so we will see up to date start at like two or three and then quickly ramp up uh, as pods running the right version uh, get up and running. Okay, let's make this. So if I want to change the image for a deployment, I have many, many ways to do it. I could do like kubectl edit deployment worker and then I could find the image and I could just change the image here. But I can also use um, a helper for that. I can do like kubectl set image for deployment worker, worker equal docker point slash worker colon v0.2. Uh, so to explain what are like all these workers here, I have worker three times on the command line. This is the name of the deployment. I say, okay, it's deployment worker. This Sorry, this is the image name, docker coin slash worker. Now, why do I have worker equal yada yada here? That's because, remember, 
in a pod, I can have multiple containers. These containers are identified by a name. And when I create a deployment with kubectl create deployment, it will contain pods with just one container. And the container will have the same name as the deployment. So in that case, the container is named worker as well. If I had a pod with multiple containers, uh, th th that would help me to indicate the image of which container I want to update. All right. So I'm going to press enter and we're going to see numbers going up and down. So here, see, we, we went zero, three, ten. Okay. It's, and that's over. 